Hi everyone, this is a review and short extract from Varjak Poor by S.F. Said. I think that's Said, or is it Said? I'm not sure. Anyway, so Varjak Poor is um, it's a, told from the viewpoint of a cat, uh, a special cat, a mysterious cat that's an outcast in, in many ways. Um, and I, I won't give the story away, but um, it's, uh, yeah, it takes some twists and turns and it definitely keeps you guessing all the way along it also involves some feline some cat related martial arts so the cat's got to work out the best way to to um face its enemies um and yeah it's it's, it's a really interesting book um so i'm just going to read the the opening of it now just to give you a little flavor chapter one the elder poor was telling a story. It was a Jalal tale, one of the best. Varjak loved to hear his grandfather's tales of their famous ancestor, how Jalal fought the fiercest warrior cats, how he was the mightiest hunter, how he came out of Mesopotamia and travelled to the ends of the earth, further than any cats had been before. But today, the elder poor's tale just made Varjak restless. So what if Jalal had such exciting adventures? Varjak never would. Jalal had ended his days in the Contessa's house. His family of Mesopotamian blues had stayed here ever since. The old place must have been full of light and life in Jalal's time, generations ago, but now it was full of dust and musty smells. The windows were always closed, the doors locked. There was a garden, but it was surrounded by a high stone wall. Jalal was the last to cross it. In all the years since then, no one had ever left the Contessa's house. Now, no one except Varjak was even listening to the tale of Jalal's adventures. Mother, father and Aunt Junie were dozing in the late afternoon light that trickled through the thick green windows. His big brother Julius was flexing his muscles. His cousin Jasmine was fiddling with her collar. His litter brothers, Jay, Jethro and Jerome, were playing one of those kittenish games that Varjak could never see the point of and wasn't allowed to join in anyway. No one was looking at him. This was his chance. He'd been out, he'd been in the garden before, but the family didn't like it out there and never let him stay very long. Stealthy as Jalal himself, Varjak rose up and padded to the cat door. He could see the garden on the other side. He could almost feel the fresh air brushing through his whiskers. He nudged it open. Varjak poor, it was father. Where do you think you're going? Varjak spun around. The tale was over. They'd woken up and seen him. But this time, he wouldn't give in. Aren't we allowed in the garden now? He said. Sweetheart, said Mother, coming over and straightening his collar. The garden is a nasty, dirty place. You're a pedigree cat, a purebred Mesopotamian blue. What do you want out there? So, highly recommend Varjak Poor. Uh, probably best from sort of year three upwards um just because some of it's the language is quite grown up um but i'm sure that older children would really enjoy it as well uh it's a great author is um old sf said or said um i'll find out how to say his name but yeah strong recommendation that one from the all saints book club